Hey, what's going on everybody? This is John Bear Gaming and today I'm coming at you with the Rank Seasons Challenge video. And I think this one's going to be kind of fun, but it's going to be kind of infuriating at the same time, but I thought it'd be wor worth a try considering my Rank Seasons rating is only like at 649 right now. So I'm not really risking anything. So this challenge is going to be a starting pitcher challenge, which is going to be hard enough because it's really hard to get your starting pitcher that you want on the hill because the game doesn't really... You know, it doesn't let you choose your starting pitcher. But with that being said, here is the challenge. As you can see, I have highlighted Warren Spahn. Now, Warren Spahn was a great pitcher for his career. I'm not sure what his stats are, but go look him up. He was a great pitcher, great Hall of Fame pitcher. But anyway, let's take a look at his attributes. He's got 82 hits per nine, 80 Ks per nine, 72 walks per nine, 80 home runs per nine, 83 control, 78 uh, velo, 85 break. There's a four-seam fastball, curveball, changeup, sinker. Not a bad pitch mix. Would like to see a slider in there. Anyway, what this challenge is going to be, I'm calling it the Warren Spawn Challenge. Now, I don't know if anyone's tried it. If they have, direct me to that person, and I will give them credit for it. But in this challenge video, I plan on walking the first batter of every single inning that I pitch in. And the reason for that is because if you've used Warren Spawn in MLB The Show, you would know that Warren Spawn has the most annoying delivery in this game. And the reason for that is because it takes like 10 seconds to throw a pitch from his windup. Maybe not quite 10 seconds, but it takes a really long time. So I thought it would be an interesting idea to walk every single first batter of the game. If he goes nine innings, that's going to be nine walks. Uh, I'd like to see if I could pitch the entire game with them, but we'll have to see how that turns out. But that's the challenge for this game. Our, ch our goal is to win the game. This is going to be on all-star difficulty, so it's probably not going to be the most challenging team that we face. But I think it's going to be a fun challenge. The rest of the team is going to be pretty normal. We're going to have our regular ranked seasons God Squad on the team. Our team right now looks like Roberto Alomar. At second base, Honus Wagner is going to be playing shortstop. Lou Gehrig at first base. Willie Mays in center field. King Griffey Jr. in left. A little bit of the bubbly is going to be behind the plate, our created player. Tony Gwynn's in right field. And we have Pee Wee Reese playing third base. I've been wanting to give that card a try, so we're going to give him a try. And with all that being said, let's get ourselves into a game. As we're looking for an opponent, friendly reminder, guys, if you guys are liking the content on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed already and turn that notification bell on so you know when my videos go live. And make sure to follow me on Twitch. I'm going to drop my link in the description at John Bear Gaming. All right, let's see who we get on the hill. Come on, make it spawn. And we get Warren spawn on the first try. How about that? Let's go. How about that? I would not have expected that for this uh for this attempt. So he's got Tony Gwynn, Roberto Alomar, Frank Thomas, Matt Kemp, Brooks Robinson, Garrett Anderson, Hanley Ramirez, Johnny Bench, and he's got that 91 Hal Newhauser on the hill. That Newhauser, I think, is actually a pretty underrated pitcher. All right, so you know what we got to do. Intentionally walk, first batter of the game. We're going to let that 89 speed Tony Gwynn on first base. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Now, thankfully, Spawn's delivery from the stretch isn't really all that bad. It's a little bit longer. He's got a bit of a leg kick. So you're going to have to keep an eye on that runner at first base, but it's not that bad. You got him to swing over the top of it. I don't know if that's a strikeout or not, but he's going to get his runner to second base either way. Wow, he didn't swing at that. Go figure. We'll take that little weak grounder up the middle. Gets his runner to third base, but we get the first out of the inning. Also, guys, I'm also going to add this to the challenge now that I think about it. Whenever there's no runners on base, that's when we're going to intentionally walk a batter. All right, having a little bit of a tough time locating with Spawn here. And we dot that pitch on the inside corner for a strikeout. Let's see if we can get through the first inning with no runs scored. And there's a base hit up the middle for Matt Kemp. Matt Kemp destroys lefties. He takes a quick 1-0 lead. That's that leadoff walk coming back to bite. Went up and away with the fastball. We're going to get that fly out to right field. Tony Gwynn's under it for out number three. Let's go to the bottom half of the first inning. Let's see if we can get this guy to rage quit, despite the fact that we're going to give him a free base runner. This guy's really going to take forever with every pitch, isn't he? We pop up that first, or that second pitch. I don't know what he's doing. 
That's out number one. Not our best at bat there. We got ourselves a good pitch, and we hit it hard, but right to his center fielder. Oh, the lineups are not looking good on our side to start off with. There we go. Intentionally walking Garrett Anderson. This guy's got to be wondering what's going on, but I don't really care. <laughs> and we struck him out with that changeup. Nice pitch. Low in the zone. That's going to be a double play. Out at second. Out at first. 99-99 to Cardinals care. Gotta love it. We were late on that one, but we strike that one to right field. And Willie's going to be safe at first. Got a leadoff base hit. We'll take it. Willie's taking off for second, and he's going to be in there. We try to take off on an 0-2 count. And that's going to get the run home on a line drive into right center field. Kemp gets a really bad animation, so we're going to take two on that. I was thinking of going two anyway before he fell over, and we have tied the ball game. That's going to get the runner over to third base, and that's going to be another late hit. I hate to see it, but... You know what? We'll take every single late hit we can get, especially after that line out in the first inning. A oh, little ground ball, the shortstop. And it's a double play from Pee Wee Reese. I thought that Pee Wee could beat it out, but he hit it right to the shortstop, and that's going to be out number three. And yes, even though my opponent's pitcher is at the plate, take your base. You're going the first. And our opponent's going to get a little bit of a late hit there. You know what? If I'm going to get him, I'm okay with him getting him, too. I don't think we're going to turn two on that. We might not quite. A little bit of a slowly hit ground ball in a slow turn there from Honus. All right, this is a big at-bat here with Frank Thomas. we got to try to... Oh, spoke too soon. He might have gotten a late jump off a of third... But we get a late relay, I think, from Honus Wagner there. It felt like he took a lot of time once he got the ball. So our opponent takes a 2-1 to one lead with that sack fly. That walk comes home to score the second time in this game. We get the third out there. We go to the bottom of the third. We are down 2-1. to one. We got a hit. There's a base hit up the middle. He left that fastball right over the heart of the plate. We took that right up the gut. And we're going to take second base easily with Roberto Alomar, even though our opponent throws over to first base. Uh, I don't know what that's about, but we'll take it. Ball is lined into center field, and it's going to be caught by Matt Kemp. We are all over that pitch. Oh, boy. That's another 15 loud out. <sighs> you put that curveball in a good spot. I thought that was going to hook back over the plate, and it stayed inside. So he saws us off route number three. All right, Brooks Robinson, enjoy your walk. Get over to first. Oh, a nice hit the other way by Garrett Anderson. I'm telling you guys, that guy's a good hitting card. Might not have the best defense, so it's tough to play him in the outfield, but that dude can hit, man. If you're looking for a budget card, that's a good one. The fact that we got one on that was amazing. That was a great reaction from Roberto Alomar to get that runner at second. And he's safe at the plate. We could not get it home in time. Oh, that sucks so much. I knew we should should have probably gone for the out at first base. But I thought it was going to be a close plate at home. It takes a 3-1 to one lead on that. That stinks. The ball maybe went 10 feet. <laughs> and we're going to throw it over to second for out number 3. He takes a 3-1 to one lead. He's been scoring that leadoff walk uh, three times out of four innings so far. So that's not good for us. Griffey with the long bomb deep in the right field. We're going to get one of those runs back on a solo homer lefty. Lefty crime with Ken Griffey Jr. Nice swing by the kid. There's a base hit in the right field. Gwynn absolutely smoked that one in the right. We got six hits in this game. We're not hitting that bad. But we only have two runs to show for it, and that's the most important part, obviously. Come on, Pee Wee. Pee Wee with the drive. Deep left center field. Is it going to carry? And it's gone. Pee Wee Reese with that 69 nice power gives us a 4-3 to three lead here in the bottom of the fourth. You love to see it. All right, Robbie Alomar, we're going to put that 87 speed at first base. And Jim Edmonds honestly looks like he is really annoyed by this. <laughs> wow, I don't know what he was looking for there. I just threw him three straight pitches right down the middle. 
Adds a nice piece of hitting to the right side by Matt Kemp. Yo, that Matt Kemp card is pretty glitchy too. I like that card a lot. He's just kind of gotten phased out a little bit, but it's definitely a good card. All right, just get one nice play by Pee Wee. Pee Wee doing it at the plate and in the field. Nice barehanded play. We got that pitch inside, but he's going to take that up the middle for a base hit. We're going to try to hose him at one. We had a green throw, but it looked like it went wide. He takes the lead back at 5-4. to four. This is a back-and-forth game. This guy's hitting pretty well. Should be out at 2, and that's going to be the final out of the inning. He gets two more runs back. Very back-and-forth game. He's up 5-4. to four. We got to go back and hit. There's a line drive in the left center field. Kemp is going to cut that off, so we're going to stay at first base. Got a one-out base runner, 96 speed. Let's see if we can get him home. Ball smoked to the right side. That's going to be a base hit. We're going to try to stretch it to three, and Tony Gwynn had kind of a weird animation out there in right field. He kind of got, or he kind of got in front of that ball a little bit oddly, so we're going to take that extra base. There's a fly ball deep in the center field. I don't think it's going to be gone, but we're going to get that run home. We're going to make it 5-5. Five to five. Once again, we tie this bad boy up. That's going to be a base hit to the left side. Might have been a little bit late on that hit, but we'll take it. We got runners on first and second, and we got a little bit of the bubbly coming up to the plate. Oh, There's a deep drive. A bit right of the bubbly. Field. Is it going to carry? And it's going to be off the wall. A little bit of the bubbly with a big-time base hit in the right field. Griffey's on his way home, and he's going to score a two-run double for my man. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. Ah, he got me up and in, got me jammed. That's okay. We take a 7-5 to five lead. We come back with a couple more runs that inning. We got those three runs back. So, back at it. He gets another leadoff walk. I'm not sure who that was at the plate there. And we got him to swing, kind of. Check swings are broken in this game, but we'll take the out. All right, two and two count. Let's see if we can blow him away with this fastball up and in. Didn't quite get it in enough, but Griffey's going to get there for out number three. We go to the bottom of the six. Still up seven to five. Opponent's taking a little bit of time here. He's going to bring in 86 overall Nate Jones against Pee Wee Reese. Pee Wee Reese has got a home run. It's going to be a ground ball to the left side. Hanley takes his time, but he's going to... Oh, he's safe. He takes Frank off the base. And we're going to keep in Warren Spahn. No reason to take him out yet. They're going to call that a hit and not an error. So Pee Wee Reese's batting average goes up even more. Uh, he's back. There we go. He's back. No bunt with Warren Spahn. Let's see if we can hit a bomb with him in this game. I don't like facing Nate Jones, but let's see if we can do something off of him. There's a drive into right field. That's a Oh, that's going to get down. Warren Spawn with an R or not an RBI, but a double into the gap. That was actually a really nice swing from Mr. Spawn. We'll take that. We'll take that every time. No button here. We are all over that pitch a little bit early. Once again, our opponent goes into the pause mate. He's going to bring in Zach Britton. Not a bad choice. And that's going to be a base hit to the left side. He's not going to throw it to first. I don't think he would have got him anyway. Robbie Alomar with his third hit of the game. We take the lead 8-5. to five. I don't know what our opponent's doing. He's pausing after every single at-bat. I think at this point, if he loses pause time, I'm done with him. And unfortunately, we're going to end that game there. We're going to make him forfeit the game. We get ourselves a dub. We actually hit the ball pretty well that game. Eight runs, 14 hits. But hey, you know what? We did the Warren Spawn Challenge. We got Warren Spawn to the hill on our first try. And he gets us a win. That's pretty nice. He walked at least six batters in that game. But we'll take the win. That was awesome. It was fun trying it. So let's go. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for tuning into the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more content on the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on. I'm going to leave my Twitch account in the description below. I go live on there every once in a while, so make sure to go follow me there. And make sure to go subscribe for September. Tier 1 subscriptions are half off. They are $249 for uh, 
They're $249 now instead of $499. So if you'd like to subscribe, go for it. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.